What's up, everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at For Now Marketing, and welcome to day 17 of Brazemas 2023. Before we get started, if you have any questions, whether you are currently using Braze or considering using Braze, please feel free to reach out. You can find these addresses and more in the description below. Today, we are going over the final three remaining action-based triggers. Two of them are location-based, both which are very cool, so let's get started. First trigger we'll talk about today is enter a location. And when you choose this trigger, the first option we see is within circle and click on the blue text on the side and you get this world map where you can set the location and the radius. To edit the default location, which is always set to New York City or to be more precise, Braze's headquarters, I believe, click on the edit button on the left. And then you can move the center of the circle to your desired location and then also resize the radius like this. The only downside of this feature is that it's a bit manual and you have to use this UI to set the center. And I don't believe there's a way to set the exact coordinates by typing them in. The other location option is within polygon. So you change to this option, click custom polygon, and you get a different location UI where you can build your custom location polygon. Once again, the default will always be the entire state of New York. First, if you click on the same pencil edit button, then you can edit all the individual vertices of this polygon. And as you can see, there are quite a few vertices to outline the state of New York. And if you click the black Pentagon button, then you get the option of drawing a new polygon, but keep in mind that you can only have one polygon. So I will choose a much simpler state to outline, maybe the state of Colorado. So here I am just outlining the state. And then to finish drawing a polygon, you click on the original point you started with, and that completes the polygon. And if you make a mistake while drawing your polygon, you can simply click delete last point. And it does take some time to get used to, but it's simple enough. And finally, I have my polygon around the state of Colorado. According to the Braze documentation, it says Braze only collects location when the application is open in the foreground. So I believe that a user needs to first have location tracking enabled, enter this location and start a session to make this trigger. And the very last action-based trigger we will go over is perform exception event for campaign. And this one is pretty straightforward. If you add any sort of delay to an action-based campaign, then you have the option of adding an exception event. So if a user were to perform the trigger for a campaign, but during the delay before the message is sent, they also perform the exception event, then they would not receive the original campaign. However, if you'd like to send them a different message instead, that's what this filter is for. With that, we have officially covered all the action-based triggers that Braze offers. Hope you found some new useful triggers to experiment with. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. One last thing I'll add before we wrap up this action-based series is that with any of these triggers, you have the option to mix and match additional triggers. So notice that even after choosing a trigger, I have the option to choose more trigger. And for every additional trigger that gets added, Braze will automatically add them in on an or basis so that a user that performs any of these triggers will receive the campaign or enter the Canvas journey. That's it for day 17. If you have any questions, please share them in the comments. We're happy to help. If you learned something from this video, please subscribe for more awesome Braze videos in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.